behind the scene and on the set of the hottest films in Hollywood. From star-studded film premieres to on-set interviews with your favorite celebrities, we're your front row ticket to Tinseltown. But most importantly, we bring you the real opinions of real movie-going fans just like you and me. That's right, the guys and girls that actually pay the eight bucks to see the films, we know those are the opinions that you really want to hear. And that's what we bring you each and every week right here on our show. Coming up this week, we're coming to you from the red carpet premiere of the new Karate Kid film starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. All right, we're joined by one of the other stars from the Karate Kid movie, Mr. Jackie Chan. Hi, Jackie. Thank you. Wow, so exciting. Oh, see all the people, all the fans. Wow. You know what? I read that one of the producers of the film said that you were the only choice to play Mr. Miyagi. How did that make you really? feel? Really? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, uh, 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 Sony and Will Smith. Trust me. Yeah, they, they, they let me do whatever I, well, I like to do. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you have certainly been a hero here for all of us, and we love your work. Thank and right you now, so much. we're going to take a look at the clip from the movie, okay? Okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Welcome back to Real Critics. We're coming to you from the star-studded premiere of the new Karate Kid film, and we caught up with the young star of the film on the red carpet, Jaden Smith. All right, we are joined on the red carpet now by Jaden Smith. Jaden, tell me, so what was it like starring in your first movie? It was just, it's great, you know. It's a lot of pressure because it's a classic, but it's just, it's great. Now, were you familiar with the original Karate Kid yes. movie? Yes, yeah, I was. Now, I hear you're quite a martial arts expert, though. You were a martial arts expert before this movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been training since I was three, so. Hi, I'm Vivian Fuller Love, and welcome to Real Critics, where we take you behind the scene and on the set of the hottest films in Hollywood. Because I don't give a damn no more about this house, your money, or this marriage. And welcome back to Studio Movie Grill, where we're here for the special red carpet event tonight. And I've been joined by the man of the hour, Mr. Morris Chestnut. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you so Good much here. for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Well, now, I know you're used to this kind of event in L.A., New York. Is this your right. first red carpet experience in Texas? First red carpet experience in Texas, yep. So how's it going for you? You know what, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's Southern hospitality. You know, I cannot, I cannot not like that. Exactly. Well, I will be the first one to tell you that your Texas fans love you just as much, if not more, than your East and West Coast fans. So oh, we're delighted to have you here. Thank you. Thank now, this, this movie's a little different for you, you know. We're used to seeing you as the macho you know, kind of ladies man, but right. but yeah. this is not that guy this is not that in guy. this movie. So tell us about Yeah, Dave Johnson, he's 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 vulnerable. You know, he's dealing with a lot of issues, a lot of challenges involving him with his marriage and, and his wife and his wife's mother and there's so many different things he's dealing with and you know it was it was it was, it was different for me to play such a vulnerable character and um, you know hopefully the audience will respond to it. Yeah, because there is. I mean, there's a lot of truth in this movie now. Now, you couldn't relate to anything in your own life during this film, could you? Well, no, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm married, and, you know, whenever you're married, you know, you deal with challenges. You know, there's no, you know, ideal marriage to where, you know, it's just like a walk in a park. You know, it's, um, you know, it's challenging. You know, any relationship is challenging, whether you're married or not. Right, exactly. Okay, now, being that you're visiting us here in Dallas, Texas, I got to ask, do you like football? I love football. Who's your favorite team? I'm an Eagles fan. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm an anti-Dallas fan. Oh, you know, no! But it's all good. I know. I'm going to be shot now. i got to watch out. That's Can't okay. Snipe me from the building. Well, you know what? Your movies are so great, we're going to let you make it. Oh, thank you. But thank that. you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. So how did you two wind up coming together for this project? Well, I stood outside the Potter's house and I begged, <laughs> and I begged. I heard about his deal. I said, please. Don't believe and I wouldn't let him get to bed. sleep. I wouldn't let him get to sleep if I, if I didn't start the movie. If I'd known that worked. No, <laughs> <laughs> no you know, I've uh, witnessed Morris Chestnut's expertise in many of the films that preceded this one. Mm -hmm. I went out to watch him do a stage play and watched how he worked on stage as well. And he just brings a tremendous amount of. Um, of, of ability to the film that I thought he was a good picture of what I thought Dave should look like and act like. And he brings Dave to life in a way that I, I typed him out, but he lived him out and I thought it was phenomenal. In yeah, my you know, knowledge of the, of the bishop, I mean, he's a, a worldwide global talent that's just infectious to all who come across him. And um, it's just a, it was an honor and a privilege just to be able to work with him. 
Now, I think that also one of the other people that was involved with this film that is absolutely phenomenal is Bill Duke. Mm -hmm. He's such a presence on camera. He's got such an incredible talent behind the camera as well. So what was it like working with him as a director? Bill was phenomenal. Um, you know, he, he was an integral part in, in, in bringing it from the script to the screen. You know, a lot of people really don't realize, they think that Hollywood sets out to make bad movies, you know, but when Hollywood greenlights a movie from the script, that's just one, um, that's just one part of the, of the whole uh, production, is getting it from the script to the screen and executing that. And Bill Duke did a phenomenal job. You know, he's been a pioneer in this industry for, for, for years, and, mm -hmm. you know, he just, you know, he brought what he could to it. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for okay. us. All right, folks, we're joined here on Real Critics by the man of the hour, T.I. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? Doing terrific. Tell me a little bit about your character in the film. Uh, my character is Ghost. Ghost was uh, once a member of this crew, uh, a, a, a very one of the highest ranking member, one of the highest ranking member of this crew. He had to bid the crew farewell for a minute to handle a little legal business if you will and uh now he's repositioning himself you know back into the crew and introducing the opportunity to take on take on the biggest most lucrative lick that they've ever uh tried to take on in their life all right so tell me what can all your fans expect from this movie when they go see it why should they go see it I mean, expect to be thoroughly entertained surprised and it's action-packed you're gonna be on the edge of your, you're gonna be on the edge of your seat from the top to the bottom all right, thanks a lot. Let's take a look at a clip. Right on. All right, good morning. Uh, good morning, afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the chance to see the movie, and I just have to say that was by far the most exciting opening action sequence of events I've seen in a very long time. Great Thank job. You. Great Thank job. You. So how did you get involved with the movie? Uh, the script was presented to me in, in 2007 uh, by Clint Culpepper at Screen Gems. Um, I read the script, I, and I was instantly intrigued and, and just engulfed into the story. I was pulled into the story instantaneously. Um, it was so many different dynamics and such a, 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 a diverse, uh, just a diverse in, a set of individuals that you wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily see this group of guys hanging together at any bar, at any club. So you know that it's something huge that brought these di different different guys from different nationalities, different walks of life. You you assume that gotta be so they gotta be up to something very, very pretty big because they don't seem like they just organically click. And we're back with more real critics from the red carpet screening of the new film Jumping the Broom and we're joined by one of the stars of the film, Miss Loretta Devine. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. You are one of the busiest women in Hollywood. Oh, well, that's what they tell me. <laughs> I, I love watching you um, periodically on um, Grey's Anatomy, terrific show. All of your movies are so great. You, and you always bring such comedy to your characters. So is, is comedy what you were trained in? or No, I have a, uh, I have a BFA in theater arts, and I have a doctorate in theater. So I've, I've been sort of like trained to do all of it. Uh, and I don't do comedy on Grey's Anatomy, it's a very serious role, so I've been really blessed to get a chance to do a variety of things. Uh, comedy is harder than serious stuff, it's amazing to know, because you have to have timing and stuff. And uh, so, I'm just, I, I, just feel, I just feel highly favored to get a chance to do all the stuff I love. I was going to say, your career has been, been so long, so many great roles that we've all enjoyed over the years, and, and to what do you attribute that longevity? Well, a lot of it has to do because I, I study and and um, you just have to keep at it. It's the sort of thing you have to be in it to win it. You have to keep auditioning. Uh, and I was, I don't know, I was, I've been in stuff from Dreamgirls on Broadway that sort of compose you into other things, you know, so there's no explaining it except for God, I guess. And, I, and more than anything, what is Jumping the Broom about? What does this movie embody? It's about uh, two families that are very much so in love with their children and trying to make sure they have wonderful futures. I guess that's, that's the easiest way to put it. And they're doing everything that they can to make sure that they continue to have a good life. I certainly hope you've enjoyed our special red carpet edition of Real Critics this week. And don't forget to come back next week where we'll have more fun, more celebrities, and more behind-the-scenes views just for you. In the meantime, I'll see you at the movies.